All right, so last week when I was flying, I got a different plane caught in the tree other than that FPV slow train I was using. Anyway, I got a different plane caught in the tree, and this was the battery on it, and obviously this battery is plugged in, and it was up in the tree for about a week plugged in, and I just got it out, and it's pretty puffy here. So I want to dispose of this battery, but before you dispose of it, to be safe, you need to use a, uh, you need to discharge this battery completely so it's not flammable. So I'm going to do that using a little salt water bath thing that I learned online from a few different videos. Um, but first I'm going to take off this connector. And you don't want these leads to touch each other, so I'm going to cut these wires at two different lengths and then use some electrical tape to keep them away from each other. Alright, so the connector's gone off of this. Uh, I've just got two wires here that are exposed. And now I need to make my salt water bath. So basically, you can't use regular tap water because there's very little ions in there and you need ions to create, uh, to let a current flow through the water. So I'm just gonna add a bunch of salt to the water so that this can act as a medium for the, uh, for the basically the electrons from the, to flow from the positive to the negative. Okay, I'm not sure how much salt to put in, so I just put in a bunch. So now I'm just going to put this, uh, this battery with the wires down in the, uh, the salt water and leave it there for um, until, just for like a couple hours until it stops bubbling because as the energy transfers from the positive to negative electrode, there will be some gas created. There will be hydrogen and oxygen gas created, so, uh, so I'll just wait until that is done. Alright, so this battery has been here for about 8 hours now and it has stopped bubbling, so I'm going to go ahead and take it out. Um, so it's still got its puffiness, but it should be fully discharged now and safe to throw away.